Hi, this is example number 13 from chapter 13. So we are uh, solving problems for um, kinetics is relating force and acceleration. Here we have a problem with two pulleys. They are connected by this cord over here, right? And we have block A and block B. So if we release the system from rest, uh, they ask us to find the velocity of block B after two seconds. And everything starts from rest. So what do we do? How do we analyze the system? First of all, I will do the free body diagram, right? So I do the free body diagram of block A, and I will do the kinetic diagram of block A as well. So if we do our free body diagram from A, it's actually very simple. We have the weight of A, which is mass times gravity. In this case, mass is 100 times 9.1, 9.81, and then we have this tension. Let's call this tension tension of A, which is the this cord. And the kinetic diagram, let's assume that I have an acceleration mass times acceleration of A, and this is the mass of A. Then I do the free body diagram of B, and the kinetic diagram of B. And I have very similar. I have a tension, I will call tension B, because it's a different tension, as you see. This cord is not the same as that one, so let's call it tension B. And then we have weight B, which is, this is mass, weight A, right? And it's A and A, because we have two masses. So which will be the mass of B and the gravity. So that weight is 20 times 9.81. And then we have the acceleration. We don't know if they move together. We haven't done that analysis. So let's assume that they move in the same direction. Now, if we do our, our equations of uh, motion in those two diagrams, we have, we will only add forces in Y because nothing is happening in X. And we have here that we have tension A minus mass A times gravity is equals to mass A times acceleration of A. And in this case, we have also forces in A, and when we have TB minus mass B times gravity equals, and I'm going to, so I named that positive because I put positive here, so I actually have to add a negative here and a negative here too. So I just assume, because I don't know, that they are moving down because of gravity. So but how many unknowns do I have here? I have TA and I have AA and I have TB and AB. It's too many unknowns. So I have four unknowns. Let me write it here. Four unknowns, which are TA, TB, AA, and AB, and only two equations, right? What are my equations? This is my one equation, and this is two equations. So I need to find more equations to be able to solve it. So I'm going to relate those two tensions with one field degree, and I will, I will relate those two accelerations. So to relate those two tensions, I'm going to do, let's call this pulley, one and this pulley two. What we see here is this cord right here is only one cord. So whenever we have a pulley, which is ideal pulley that has no friction, so we have to assume no friction in the pulley. If we have friction, that's a totally different story. So since we don't have friction, all this tension is equal, so we, all this tension of this cord is what I call TB. But this tension is different, so let me do the free body diagram. Free body diagram of pulley one. And here I said that this is tension B, 
And since I don't have friction, this is tension B as well. But this is tension A. And even though the pulley is moving, we don't have any mass. Since we don't have any mass, when we do our equations of equilibrium, we will have 2TB minus TA equals mass of the pulley, acceleration of the pulley. But this is zero. Therefore, we can say that 2TB is equal to TA. So finally, since all these four unknowns, but if we found another equation, let's call this equation three. So we can substitute one of the tensions in the other one, right? And the next equation that I will find is do this in the kinematic analysis of, of the system. How do I do that? You remember from chapter 12, you remember that the part that is it, it, the surrounds the pulley will be constant. So I put my datum over here and I will call this SA and I will call this SB, right? So all the chord, the total chord, so it will be SA plus another SA, so it's 2SA plus SB will be equals to the total length of the chord. If we derive this expression, we get that 2, the velocity of A plus the velocity of B is equals to 0. And we can derive again and we get the 2 acceleration of A plus acceleration of B is equals to 0. So from here, we can say that 2 acceleration of A is negative acceleration of B. So this is my other equation. So now I have four equations because I was able to relate A and B. I was able to relate the tensions. And here I will be able to solve this equation. So finally, solving the system of equations, one and two. So I will then you see that TA is 2TB, so I'm going to write here 2TB minus the mass of A, which is a 100 kilograms times the gravity is equals to negative mass. Since what I want to find is a, well, I can leave it with acceleration of A, acceleration of B, doesn't matter, so I will give my mass is 100 times acceleration of A. And then the second equation will be TB minus the mass, which is 20, times 9.81 equals negative. Again, uh, the mass is 20. And now I can substitute the acceleration of B times negative 2 acceleration of A. So as you see here, we have um, only two unknowns with two equations. So this becomes my equation one, this becomes equation two, and solve the system of equation. I have the acceleration of A, I have the results, I'm going to write them, 3.27 meters over second, acceleration of B, is equals to negative 6.54 meters over second square. So what does that mean? That I assume both going down, and what I got is that acceleration of God is going down because I got a positive number, and the acceleration of B that I got a negative number, it means actually that it's going up. So whenever this goes down, this goes up. So this is acceleration of A, and this is acceleration of B. So since what I want to find is the speed, so we have to integrate. So I have a little space, sorry about that. But you know that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity respect to time. And since I started at rest, I can say that the velocity is the acceleration. And this acceleration is constant because the gravity is constant. And then I have acceleration times time. Since the time is two, I just multiply this acceleration by two, and I get that the velocity is equals to 13.08 meters over second. 
and that's the result I was looking for. Sorry that it was in the very last corner of the board. So we were able to find the speed of block B after two seconds.